OK, so in this video, what we want to do is estimate the median from grouped frequency. Now, when you're looking at the median, you're looking at the middle value. OK, so when you had uh, 10 bits of data, OK, 10 data points, then you know that the middle of the data is between the fifth and the sixth value, so the 5.5th value. And that's found by adding 1 to the number of bits of data that you have and dividing by 2. OK, so 10 plus 1 is 11, divided by 2 is 5.5. When you're working with grouped frequency, then usually you're working with quite a lot of data. And so if you're working with quite a lot of data, then uh, the median value is, well, it doesn't really make much difference. If you said you had 100 bits of data, if you were looking halfway, so at the 50th, that's not going to be that much different to the 50.5th. OK, so when you're dealing with uh, the median okay, of grouped data, it makes sense to just find the frequency and divide it by 2 and use that position rather than have to add 1 and divide by 2. That's not to say that one is better than the other or more accurate than the other because really they are both estimates. If you were... Um, if you were doing this on a cumulative frequency curve, then, and you had your frequency, cumulative frequency went up to 100, you would go to the 50th value, okay, and then along. You wouldn't go to the 50.5th value, okay? So when you're working with grouped frequency, just take the frequency, halve it, the total frequency, halve it, and take that as the position for the median, okay? So, let's have a look at this first one first. Really, I need to have that cumulative frequency by the side. So if I start off with 8, then I would have 28. And then adding on 42, that would get me up to 70. And add on 30, I'd get to 100. OK, so the median value will be at the 100 divided by 2, 50th position. Now, by the time I've got to uh, the end of this group at 15, or 15.5 rather, I've got through 28 bits of data. And then by the time I get to 19.5, I've gone through 70 bits of data. So that means that the 50th position must be in this grouping. So if I draw a number line to represent that group, remember that would be going from 15.5 up to 19.5 and my median value is somewhere between the two at the 50th position. Now by the time I come into the group I've gone through 28 bits of data and by the time I leave the group I've gone through 70 bits of data. So the 50th position is somewhere within. Now, to calculate this, uh, this estimate of the median, I need to use what's referred to as linear interpolation. This is it. Okay? This number line really helps because the idea is that the ratio of that distance to that distance is the same as the ratio of that distance to that distance. Now, what that means algebraically is the difference in that, so x take away 15.5, divided by the difference in that group, so 19.5 to 15.5, will be the same as the difference between those two, 15 and 28, over the difference in those two, 70 to 28. And that gives you an equation to solve to find your median value, x, in this case. So if I work out the right-hand side, so 50 take away 28 over 70 take away 28. That gets me 11 over 21. I'm going to times it by that denominator, so multiply up. So multiply it by 19.5 take away 15.5. So that gets me 44 over 21. Then add the 15.5 to both sides, and I get 739 over 42, 
which is 17.6 to 3 sig fig. 17.6 is my estimate for the median value. OK? Right. Let's try and do the same thing now with the ages. Now, remember, the ages are slightly different because we round down with ages. Um, if you are 15.927 years old, you are still 15 years old. You're not 16. OK, so I still need to do the cumulative frequency, but the top bits of the data on my number line will be different. So 20. Add on 55 gets me to 75. 75 plus 75 is 150. 150 plus 50 is 200. OK, so 200 divided by 2 is 100. So I'm looking for the 100th data point. I've gone through 75 there, so it will be inside 21 to 30. So this will be going from 21, OK, because 20.5 is not, would be considered uh, 20. OK, so we're going from 21 all the way up to 31. OK, and the median value is going to be somewhere between the two at the 50th, sorry, the 100th position. So I've gone through 75 bits of data by the time I come into the group, and I'm going to leave having gone through 150 bits of data. So... In the same way as before, the ratio of x to 21 over 100, sorry, not 100, the ratio of x to 21 over 31 to 21 is the same as 100 to 75 over 150 to 75. Okay, so this gives me an equation of self to find x. So, First of all, 100 take away 75, over 150 take away 75, and that gets me one third. Multiply up by 31, take away 21, so 10 thirds. Add the 21, and we get 73 thirds, or 24.3 to 3 sig fig. Okay, so that is an estimate for the median for the second set of data. For the third example, okay, then we need to find the cumulative frequency first. So 3, then 20, then add on the 19, so 39, add on the 1, 40. So we're looking at 40 divided by 2, so the 20th position. So number line. So the 20th position in this example is because we've gone through 3 to 17 already, okay, and we've gone through 20, that means that actually my estimate for the median will be precisely at 22. Now, the reason for that would be is that the median, because we've gone through, um, so let's say it was somewhere between the two, right, then um, I would have gone through uh, 8 to 22, OK, so that's the grouping. Um, you could say it's between 22 and 50 in precisely the same way. OK, uh, then, um, well, because we're on the 20 mark already, this is going to be the 20th position. But when we do this, this will be uh, the 20th position. OK, and this would be the third position. So if I was going to write this down as an equation, I'd have x take away 8 over 22 take away 8 is equal to 20 take away 3 over 20 take away 3. OK, now clearly that's just 1. So 1 times 22 take away 8 is, um, well, uh, 14. Then add on the 8 gets me back to 22. So x is clearly 22. So you could have spotted that it would have to have been 22 anyway, straight from the table. But the interpolation here 
works as well, just to show it. 